right good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back and uh, today we are going to talk about the new businesses and sustainable business practices right and uh, we are going we are not going to actually discuss here we are going to talk about few possible questions on the new business right in here so i have taken around 5 to 6 questions here possible questions for the paper uh so let's go one by one the first one is the what is new businesses and how does it differ from traditional business model so when we talk about the new business so post covid 19 so liberalized the business model as you all know so which encouraged to embrace sustainability and social responsibility as core values in operating the business while focusing innovation and technology to create the good customer experience so there are some keywords you have to remember right so sustainability and social responsibility as core values then innovation and technology focusing on innovation and technology to create customer experience right so i think it's clear then let's see the key difference between the new businesses and the traditional business model so these are some of the uh, differences between the new businesses and the traditional business model sustainability and social responsibility and emphasis on the digital transformation and customer centricity agility and adaptability and collaborative <laughs> ecosystems right uh, let's talk about these uh, differences one by one the first one is the the emphasis on digital transformation so new businesses prioritize digital transformation by leveraging the technology and digital platforms to optimize the process enhance customer experience and drive innovation okay new businesses prioritize digital transformation by what leveraging technology and digital platforms to what optimize optimize process enhance customer experience and drive innovations so they embrace tools such as cloud computing data analytics artificial intelligence and automations to gain a competitive edge okay so emphasis on the digital transformation then uh, right then sustainability and the social responsibility so this uh, social responsibility in your business they have consider it as a core principle okay so in here so new businesses models emphasize the integration of environmental and social consideration consideration into their strategies operations even in the decision making process so there are few of the uh, methods then they can uh, incorporate the uh, sustainability and the social responsibility as a core principles in the new business so triple bottom line right this one also is a one of the core principle in llc organization also so new businesses adopt the concept of the triple bottom line which expand the traditional focus on financial performance to include environmental and social outcomes so they aim to create value not just for the shareholders but also for the planet and the society at large okay and not only that so new businesses prioritize environmental sustainability by minimizing their ecological footprints at scale so this involves the adopting sustainable practices such as energy so resources efficiency waste reduction pollution and the use of renewable energy sources such kind of thing okay so then uh, Uh, social impact new business recognize their role in society and actively work to make a positive impact 
right the most of the companies now they are engaged in with this social works also for example if we take the loyalc company also we got to know that uh, they have started a lot of uh, community related projects right to support the the poor people in the villages and uh, children's right and some donations to the school kids such kind of things okay so then um, the customer centric so customer centric mean your businesses place a strong focus on understanding and meeting customer needs okay so customer is the goat isn't it so they gather and analyze the data to gain insights into customer preferences and behaviors and pain points so by delivering personalized experiences so new businesses foster customer loyalty and drive customer satisfaction this customer loyalty also loyal customer base is a strength of any organization if we consider the sort analysis we can take the customer loyalty a uh, loyal customer base as a strength of the any organization customer satisfaction okay right then uh, agility and adaptability so unlike traditional business models new businesses are designed to be agile and adaptable they are responsive to market changes and quickly adjust the strategies products and services to meet evolving customer demands and competitive landscapes right and then uh, the collaborative ecosystem so new businesses often operate within collaborative ecosystems that foster partnerships and alliances so they seek synergies with other businesses startups research institutions and even customers uh, to co-create value share resources and drive innovations so these are some of the Uh, difference between the traditional business model and the new business model so it's very really easy it's focus on the technology digital transformation and uh, what do you call that uh, sustainability and the social responsibility okay right then the second question is what are the key drivers behind the emergence and growth of the new businesses right so when we talk about the key drivers so there are a lot of we can identify a few key drivers behind the emergence of growth of the new businesses right because it has now evolving very fast and spreading all over the world right so these are the key drivers we have identified the first one is the technological advancement so rapid advancement in the technology particularly in areas such as digital connectivity cloud computing and artificial intelligence data analytics right have provided the foundation for new business models so these technologies have lowered the barriers to entry and enabled a new forms of collaboration and open up opportunities for innovation and disruption technological advancement it's a one point okay one drive the major drive then change in customer expectation so evolving customer preferences and expectations have played a significant role in the drive in the emergence of the new businesses for example we can take during the covid 19 period covid 19 period right so how this the change of the the consumer expectation right so consumers today seeks personalized experiences convenience and seamless interaction across multiple channels so new businesses leverage technology and data to deliver tailored offerings and superior customer experiences right online businesses on and uh, uh, online delivery systems even we can uh, order any food right so liberalized market actually we can find now right with the concept of the new businesses so then uh, disruption in industry uh, transformation so traditional industries have faced uh, disruption from new players adapting to new businesses model 
because uh, established businesses that fail to adapt to change in market dynamics risk being left behind the pressures to innovate and uh, stay competitive has driven the adoption of new business practices across uh, various sectors right even in the financial sector we have seen that uh, in food industry to tourism industry right not only one sector right it has spread all over the most of the sectors now so globalization and connectivity so increased globalization and interconnection uh, connectedness have created opportunities for businesses to reach global market and collaborate with the partners worldwide so new business model capitalize on its global connectivity to expand their reach access talent pool and tap into drivers customer base so in globalization uh, we go, uh, learn during the management right anything anywhere any time market you can buy anything anywhere any time from your mobile sent it right then uh entrepreneurial culture and the uh startup ecosystems so there has been a proliferation of startups and entrepreneurial ventures driven by a supportive ecosystem so startup are often more inclined to embrace new business model due to their agility innovation focus and ability to challenge traditional industry norms so now most of the startups right they try to start up their whatever the project with the new business model due to the agility innovation focus right and ability to change and some kind of other things so these are some of the key drivers behind the success of the new businesses technological advancement change in consumer expectation disruption and in industry transformation globalization and connectivity right and in startup ecosystems right such kind of things okay then the how do new businesses address the sustainability and social responsibility how we talk about that because uh, this is the one of the uh, what this is one of the core value of the new business right okay so new business is address the sustainability and social responsibility through various strategies and practices so these are some of them so environmental stewardship right so new businesses prioritize sustainable practices to minimize their environmental impact so they may adopt renewable energy sources implement energy efficient technologies reduce waste generation and promote recycling and responsible resource consumption okay so this can include measures such as carbon footprint reduction sustainable sourcing and environmentally friendly packing packaging such kind of thing then the second one is ethical supply chains so new business strive for transparency and ethical practices throughout their supply chain so they may engage in responsible sourcing fair rate trade initiatives and ensure fair labor practices as well so this includes monitoring suppliers verifying compliance with social and environmental standard and uh, supporting initiatives and promote fair working conditions and the human rights so ethical supply chains then the social impact initiatives so new businesses actively engage in social impact initiatives so contribute positively to society they may support community development project donate a portion of their profits to uh, charitable causes or establish partnership with non profit organizations so this can include activities such as education programs health care initiatives power television efforts and the, the support for marginalized communities such kind of things you can take as a social impact initiatives so then uh, diversity and inclusion so new businesses recognize the value okay of diversity and inclusion in fostering innovation and driving business success 
so they promote diversity within their workforce ensuring equal opportunities and fair treatment for all employees so regardless of their gender race ethnicity or background background so they may implement diversity and inclusion training establish employee sources group and foster the culture of the, in, the inclusivity even they can use diversity in the recruitment and selection process as well right then the next one is ethical marketing and consumer education so new business uphold the ethical marketing practices and provide transparent information to the car consumers so they in avoid uh, greenwashing or market making misleading claims about their products or services so they educate consumers about sustainable choices ethical consumptions and environmental or social impact of their offerings so this help consumers make informed decision aligned with their values okay so then uh, this is how we can address the sustainability and social responsibility in your business okay then the next question is what are the key challenges and barriers faced by the new business so what are the key response the barriers or the uh, challenges faced by the new businesses so new businesses face several challenges and barriers as they navigate the evolving business landscape okay so these are some of the key challenges the first one is resistance to change so here <coughs> adopting new business models is often requires a significant shift in mindset and organizational culture resistant to change from employees management or stakeholders can impede the adoption of innovative practices and hinder the transformation process okay and the technology implementation so integrating new technologies and digital platforms can be complex and resource intensive so new business may face challenges related to the technology implementation including technical issues data security concerns and the need for a specialized expertise right then the scalability and the sustainability growth so while new businesses may experience rapid growth in their early stages maintaining sustainable growth and scalability over the long term can be challenging ensuring the operational efficiency managing increased demand and scaling resources and infrastructure crucial consideration right then data privacy and security so new businesses rely on the data and analytics to drive decision making and personalized experiences drive decision making process that one also one of the characteristic of the new business so however ensuring the data privacy protection and compliance with the data regulations can be a challenge so cyber security threats and breaches are also significant concern for the new businesses handling sensitive consumer inf- information okay so these are some of the barriers for the new businesses right then sustainability sustainable practices okay so sustainable practices uh, encompass a wide range of strategies and actions that businesses can adopt to minimize their environmental impact then promote social responsibility and achieve long term sustainability so here are some key sustainable practices that businesses can implement energy efficiency reduce energy consumption by implementing energy efficient technologies equipment and lighting systems so improve insulation optimize uh, hvac systems and promote energy saving behaviors among the employees okay then the renewable energy so transitions to renewable energy sources such as solar wind or hydroelectric power to reduce the resilience on uh, fossil fuels and lower carbon emissions so install on site renewable energy generation systems or purchase renewable energy credits so these are some of the methods for the renewable energy then waste reduction and recycling so implement waste management strategies to minimize waste generation increase recycling rates and divert waste from the landfills so set up recycling programs provide appropriate bins and uh, uh, 
signage, right, and uh, educate employees about the proper, proper waste sorting. So then, uh, sustainable supply chain, okay, assess and manage the sustainability performance of suppliers, encourage sustainable sourcing, ethical labor practices, and responsible raw material extraction. So then develop supplier codes for the conduct, uh, code of conducts and they collaborate with suppliers to improve sustainability practices, right? So the water conversation, conservations, then implement water saving measures such as efficient irrigation systems, low flow fixtures and water reuse systems, monitor water usage, fix leaks promptly and raise awareness among the employees about the importance of water conservation conservations right so we can use those kind of things right right so what are the key environmental social and government governance factors that uh, businesses should consider when assessing their sustainability performances okay so environmental factors so we discussed that so carbon footprint greenhouse gas emissions then energy and resource efficiency water management biodiversity so these are the environmental factors so social factors so labor standards and human rights okay and the diversity and inclusion so employee will be so these are some of the social factors and the units come to the governance factors so corporate governance then ethics and anti-corruption risk managers okay so these are the environmental social and the government factors right when assessing their sustainability performances right by assessing these three factors we can identify the uh, the cyber sustainability performance of that particular organization right just we just discuss about the few possible questions on the uh, near business and the sustainable uh, economic management so thank you very much